I'm from Hottam Land, a place called Madam Greta, which I represent my community. And yeah, I'm pretty pleased to be here, but again, I'm on another hand a little bit pissed off because we're not being invited to the dialogue as an Indigenous person of Australia. And what's their reason for not letting you in? Apparently it's confidential, but why should it be confidential if we are part of that discussion in the Constitution? I'm not sure why. I can't work it out yeah. as an Aboriginal person, which is uh, part of my group that we came with the delegation from Northern Land Council where we were quite pissed off. We should be part of it. We should be part of the discussion. We should be supporting the group. So how many have been turned away from Oh, a lot. A lot, a lot of people. I mean, there's probably 20, 20 or probably more that rocked up here today. Oh, yesterday, since yesterday, actually. And we were quite happy inside to be part of this discussion, to move and get something going, really, for us, for everybody, yeah. every Aboriginal person in Australia. So you've come under your own steam and they still want to be in. Exactly, and then, which is wrong. I mean, they're doing it to us, with the government watching us at, at the moment, where we've been separated from our own people, where it shouldn't be. Why should we look at the um, TV to see what they're talking about, where we should be part of the discussion within the group? Absolutely. Yeah, um, as I was saying, um, you know, the sovereignty rights for everybody, there's always catch to it towards um, Government, government always have the final say. End of the day, where we're talking about independence, we're talking about um, uh, you know self-determination, but there's always a catch to it. Government always have the last say, and this is where we need to be strong as collective, right across Australia, Torres Strait, inland people, where we fight together, not not as individual, as united voice. And how do you explain sovereignty to your countrymen? Well, it means a lot. It means a lot to us. It means a lot to the kids, upcoming generations, where we need to be recognised to our own country. We practice the traditional practices as we speak everywhere. It needs to be recognised. It needs to be listened to. Thank you. Thank you.